renewables today have become very cost competitive in emerging markets. We're seeing uh, solar and wind prices in the $50 to $60 a megawatt hour range uh, last year alone, and we see that continuing into the future. Power infrastructure in emerging markets uh, is critical because it's a fundamentals play. The bloodbath that we've seen uh, on the headlines is not on the fundamental play, it's on just a movement of people's perceptions of the risk there. The uh, energy consumption per GDP in emerging markets is five to 10 times less than what it is in the United States. So there's a need for power. The key is really picking the right markets to go into and putting the right credit enhancements and structures around those deals to get them to the point where institutional investors like ourselves want to buy into those assets. Thermal generation in Europe uh, is under a lot of stress right now. Interestingly, part of that stress is caused by the subsidies for renewables that have created a massive oversupply. Only select assets should and can survive. For those assets to continue to survive, there's going to need to be some type of regulatory change. The most disruptive trend I see on the horizon is uh, storage and off-grid solar. Storage is going to be disruptive all across the world in both emerging and developed markets. And off-grid solar, to me, uh, will be the most disruptive in the medium to long term.